is Kathy Stembridge, and next week um, I'm restoring my smile with the three on six. I'm very excited. When I was five, I had a really high fever, and my doctor said my new te my permanent teeth were coming in, and so I, I affected the enamel on my teeth. And so even though I brush and floss twice a day, I still have bad teeth. <laughs> I'm okay with speaking, but I can only eat on one side of my mouth, and um, I don't like to smile because I don't have teeth on both sides and the top. This is the second time I came for a consultation, and then today I was here for lab work. It was great. It was easy. My first visit was great. Gianna's awesome. I love Dr. Locke. I think he's great. And then December 8th, I get my surgery. Yeah, we're here in the backyard of my mom's house because uh, I sold my house last month and I bought a fifth wheel and my truck, Roxy. I'm excited to travel and just go enjoy my life now and be confident about my smile. <laughs> I'm looking forward to having the three on six done next week because um, my teeth have started hurting now that I'm older, and um, it will be nice to not have toothaches anymore. And right now I have one right here, <laughs> but I won't have that after next week, so. Uh, I definitely didn't want dentures. I didn't want to have to take my teeth, teeth in and out every day. I don't want to have to worry about that. I like to do too many things to have to worry about that. <laughs> I'm just tired of going to the dentist all the time. It just hurts. <laughs> I hate dentists. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of scary knowing they're going to yeah, take all my teeth out that I have now, but they're horrible teeth, so they need to go. I know they're going to take down some bone and put the temporaries over the top of my gums until they heal. Um, I know I'm on a liquid diet for six weeks, which I think that'll do me good. <laughs> <laughs> so, I know it's probably going to be painful, but no more painful than what my teeth hurt right now. So, so far, it's been a wonderful experience. And next week, yeah, hopefully everything will change next week. <laughs> this is my sticker I put on my new truck. Um, to live a great story. It's my motto now, and um, that's what I plan on doing after I have this procedure done. Um, after six months, I'm ready to hit the road and go travel. to see you. This is my friend Julie. We have been many places together and I hope we're gonna go many more places and she's hanging out with me today. I'm Julie Devereaux and I've been friends with Kathy for about 20 years so I've watched her um, have to struggle with her teeth and not be able to eat things that she's wanted to eat. When she did the research and came up with this procedure, that seems like it is an answer to her prayers. She doesn't have to get dentures. She won't have to be returning all the time with pain and getting all the infection out. And I'm just looking forward to her new life. You know, she's moving forward and going to be traveling and you can't be trying to find a dentist everywhere. So, you know, she's just going to be driving in the big black truck with a big smile and she's going to really excited for her. Yeah, it's gonna be nice though, not to have any pain in my jaws and it'll just be nice. And cold stuff isn't gonna hurt anymore. And uh, chewing won't hurt anymore. Ice cream. 
I don't can't do cold and I can't um, do anything hard. Wanna go for a hike with me up here behind my house? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Come on, let's do this. It's a beautiful day. Can you drive yourself home from there? No. My daughter's gonna take me, I think. She's gonna take me and wait for me and drive me home. And then I'll just rest for a little while. And I think I'll be good. I'm excited. Then I'll, I'm gonna wake up next week, though, with a new smile. A new smile? Yeah. Just a temporary one for now, but that's okay. So in seven days, I'm gonna be in the dentist chair getting my new smile. So excited. <laughs> this way. Was you? <laughs> How are you doing this morning? Good. Kind of nervous. Don't be nervous. It's going to go great, I promise. Yeah. Right, perfect. So I have this for you here. So the top paperwork is going to be for our anesthesiologist, mm -hmm. and then the rest is going to be some consent forms. Okay. Once you're done with these, let me know, and we'll get you started on some other consent forms on the iPad, OK? OK, all perfect. right. So do you have your support person with you here yeah, today? Yeah, my daughter's here. Perfect. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Good. Perfect. If I can go ahead and just get your contact information written down here. Disease. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I got this. Ah. Any heart problems? No chronic kidney or liver problems. Love, love you. Okay, love you too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and have a seat right there. <clears throat> How are you? Kind of scared, but I'm okay. <laughs> You're gonna do awesome. Okay, so let's go over a little bit of everything while he's getting y'all wired in. Okay. Um, so we're taking everything out top and bottom. We're gonna be placing six implants on top, six on the bottom. And when you wake up, you should have a nice, pretty set of teeth on it, okay? Okay. Um, and those are gonna be like, they come out or they don't come nope, out? They stay in there. Okay. They're in there. Now they're temporary, so you. Again, there's a couple things with these. Mm -hmm. One, we want you to keep them really, really good and clean. Mm -hmm. And two, very strict soft food diet. Right? Okay. We talked about that a little bit. Uh -huh. um, my markers are eggs, mac, and cheese. You know, if you can kind of mush it with your fingers, mm -hmm. it's going to be good to eat. Um, that's three to four months. We're going with that soft food diet. If you do it right, it'll be worth it. You won't have to go through any more surgery. Implants are gonna heal up amazing, and we'll be able to get you some beautiful bridges. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. We've got people here through Friday. We've got an emergency line. Anything that you need, you call. To text me if you need anything, or uh -huh. if you have any questions, just okay. shoot me a text, and I'll either call you or text you back. Okay. Okay. You can ice tonight. Just take it easy. Um, that'll help. You'll probably swell up a little bit. You'll probably bruise a little. Okay. That's all normal, and it, okay. usually when I see when I see you in a week, most of that's already gone. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. So, uh, but if you need anything, just let us know. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Exciting. Yeah. I'm excited for you. You're gonna leave here with something really pretty. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna make it look really nice. Thanks. Um, he's gonna get you really good and comfy now. You want to feel Okay. 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 Can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. You too. <laughs> Have a good nap. Thank right. you. And I want you to get in a position that feels comfortable to you. Okay. Because you're going to be here for a while. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you feel okay like that? I think so. Okay, next step. 
just oxygen here, okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to do that for just a minute. Last upper tooth is out. Time to make you pretty again. So this is Kathy, a um, couple of, to remember kind of where we started off. She had some pretty front teeth, um, but we can see as we get towards the back, um, we are really broken down. So this is what we're looking like now. Got a really nice looking smile in here, some good teeth. Surgery went super, super good. Um, so we'll have some adjustments to make as we go on and we're going to make these better each time. Um, these are her temporaries so she'll be in these for three to four months and then we'll get working on some pretty porcelain, make some adjustments to the way some of the things look but overall very happy they look really pretty. First night that I came home, at um, the numbing medicine was still on my stitches, so I felt really good when I came home. And then that night, and about five in the morning, was when the uh, numbing medicine wore off, and that's when the pain started coming. But uh, today, the pain is so much better, and it's Tuesday, so tomorrow will be a week. Um, but today is much better than it has been. <laughs> the anesthesiologist called me the night before um, to ask questions if I was allergic to anything, um, but I'm not. So uh, the day of, he took me in there and uh, he put the IV in and said he gave me a little something to relax me. And he said, okay, I'm gonna give you oxygen now. It's the last thing I remember. So I've been eating cream of wheat, yogurt, um, juice, that's soup, all soft stuff, mostly liquid, but now it's healing better so I think I could probably eat something soft. Just this first week I've just been doing just liquids, but it feels good to know I have something to chew with now. Um, Dr. Locke, I saw him yesterday and he said my stitches are healing nicely, so I guess I'm doing good. So I was here a few weeks ago for a checkup to make sure that my gums were doing well, healing around my teeth, and um, Dr. Locke said they were doing really good. I've gotten used to them now, so I can chew anything. The strangest thing is to be able to chew with my back teeth because I didn't have any back teeth. So <laughs> I love being able to chew food with my back teeth now because I, I was um, limited to what I could eat before with only a cert having a certain place to bite down. And if I have like, so like something really soft, uh, even a steak that's cooked really, really tender, I can still eat because it's just a little bit of chewing and I have the molars that I didn't have before 
to chew it. So it's interesting. It's different. And I like it. <laughs> I do know today's appointment is long, but and I'll be nice and numb to get these out and get another set, second set put in. I'm nervous, but after having everything done so far, it, it'll be easy. I'm not worried. It really wasn't that bad. The first couple of weeks was the worst, just having the teeth taken out. After that, it's been no pain at all. It's been great. Great, we've got a new set of new set of teeth here for you. Okay. I'm a little nervous about you taking these. I'm a little nervous. Are you? <laughs> yeah. This will be this is the longest of our appointments from here on out. This appointment is kind of the most crucial for the rest of the process. Um, like I told you, it's the the lab only knows where we had planned to put the implants. Mm -hmm. They don't know where they ended up. We'll make a brand new set off of the scans that we do today that will just sit perfectly. Okay. Just really, really smooth. So we'll see, uh, do you like the way they look? Do you like the length? Do you like the color? We're going to start by taking these bridges off. Again, shouldn't be any pain. I'm going to wait for this to kick in a little bit before we do any numbing, okay? Some areas I may not even need to, so we'll wait till they're off so I can tell for sure. So we've taken off our initial set of temporaries, our immediate temporaries. Um, we're looking at some really good gum health here. Her gums have the scalloping like natural teeth would have. We want to preserve that as we go to our next set of temporaries. Right now we're cleaning off some of those metal abutments. We're going to get a really good scan of these abutments so that our lab can now fabricate our next set of temporary bridges on top of the metal um, as it is today. We're going to match basically what she had before because we really liked the look of her temps. Uh, we'll make certain adjustments but um, we're going to keep them fairly close. Um, that way we know she, she stays happy but we're really happy with the progress and her gum tissue is Two thumbs up. So we just finished with my second set of temporaries. Everything went really well. It took a few hours, but I'm good and I'm ready to go home. We've got Kathy here today and uh, we just took off her final set of temporaries. We're cleaning up all of everything, getting her ready to feed on her final. So this is, a, this is a fun appointment. We get to kind of finalize everything after a long process. And uh, yeah, we'll show you what the final is like. Yeah. We've got all of Kathy's bridges here adjusted and ready to go. So we adjust them to make sure things go down perfect. The, the biggest thing you'll notice in the size of these. The other option has always been the all on four, which is a good option. Um, but the problem with that is we just have to remove a lot of bone in order to put that in. The thickness of these bridges is about the same as natural teeth. Um, if we were to do an all on four on Kathy, because of where her, she had a fairly gummy smile before, right Kathy? We would have had to remove bone basically clear up here in order to hide the transition from the gums to the prosthesis. In the case of the three on six with Kathy, we don't want to hide that transition. We want to make that look as natural as possible with her own gum tissue. So uh, Kathy's probably saved in her case, maybe 10 millimeters of bone, which is bone she'll never get back if we had cut it off. So that's the main benefit here of staying with bridges. The three on six, we can uh, we can preserve bone um, for people that have really good healthy bone like Kathy. Um, some people all on four is the only option, and that's fine. Um, it's better than dentures. But uh, in the case of Kathy, we we saved a whole lot of bone by doing this. And so we're ready now to, to cement. We're gonna clean everything up. We're gonna bond those bridges to the metal the best we can. 
so that she never has to worry about them popping off again and uh, she's gonna be a happy camper going leaving today. Are you a uh, are you a grilled cheese specialist? Do you do fancy stuff yeah. with your grilled cheese? <laughs> uh-huh. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, you're gonna have to tell us <laughs> one day. I love grilled cheese sandwiches. We put pulled pork. We put bacon. Oh, yeah, dude. We need, a, we need to set up shop right <laughs> out <of> here. <laughs> We're all prepped and ready. Time to start cementing these in. There's one spot that's still a little high. What about there? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's pretty good. So, like both sides touch at the same time? Um, pretty much. It's just this one on the outside still. Okay, let's get that last one. Bite down. Tap, tap, tap. We just dialed in her bite here a little bit. Uh, it's something new, so it always takes a little bit of getting used to. But uh, yeah, we've got. Her final bridge is in, they look beautiful. Uh, bite looks really solid. We're making sure she's got stable bite on both sides so that everything, she's able to chew good, uh, speech is good, she's not biting her cheeks, all that kind of thing we're looking at. Let's see, smile for me there. Oh, those look beautiful. They look really, really nice. Let me show you. What do you think, you like them? Back to a good color there. Yeah. That's really nice. Mm-hmm. You'll notice these are gonna feel a lot smoother. They're gonna feel a lot harder. It's a little bit of weird getting used to it because those temporaries were kind of soft when you uh-huh. bite down. I can feel they're tighter. These already, aren't yeah. gonna budge, yeah. So mm-hmm. they're they're really tight and strong. Um, you should be able to chew just about anything. You know, we still don't want to use them as tools. Yeah. Um, but you <laughs> should be able to get into basically anything you okay. want. And the the glue's off of there, it just felt like it, yep. that it's all good, okay. Yeah, you're all off there. Mm-hmm. You might be a little inflamed in a couple areas where I have to kind of clean that yeah. off, but let me know, make some notes if there's any other adjustments you need, but okay. you look awesome. Thank you. Good. Okay, enjoy your time at Burning Man. <laughs> Thank you, I That's will. gonna be awesome, you take care. Thank you. And Danielle, Thank can you. schedule that for you. Okay. Enjoy your new smile. Have a Thank fun. you. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You look great, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. Thank Have you. Nice. Oh, bye bye. Yeah. I got my permanents today. My three on six permanents. They feel really good. I think they look good too. <laughs> We have a lot of fun here and have lots of dinners and family fun things to eat and now you get to eat all the things. It's so nice because before I couldn't eat anything crunchy or chewy. Um, I was afraid of breaking a tooth or it just hurt to chew and now I can chew on anything that I want to Mm. and I have plenty of teeth to do it with. Mm. Instead of only, I could only chew on one side oh. and I had one tooth on the top, one on the bottom that I could chew on oh. and that was it for a long time. Now I wow. have a whole mouthful of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to show you that I can eat whatever I want now, including this yummy apple. Want to see me? Oh. Um. And I couldn't chew on both sides. Mm. I can bite apples now. <laughs> oh, okay, it's not going just in my mouth. But look how good I can chew. You were chewing so good. Did <laughs> you not? Chew faster. <laughs> I didn't used to have chewies like that. Um, you can eat sugar and you don't get cavities. Is that sugar? Um, well, I don't have pain from like cold or mm. yeah, sugar, like having sugar touch bad teeth. You don't get cavities. cavities. Oh, oh, no, I meant teeth cake. So I knew I wanted to travel before and 
Now with my new smile, I'm much more confident and can go anywhere and talk to anyone and just basically do whatever I want now and have the confidence to smile at everyone. But they the, look so real. Mm -hmm. They feel real too. The color looks so real. Uh -huh. The shape looks so real. Yeah. They look yeah. great. Nobody knows unless I tell them. No, I wouldn't. I'm glad I'm no longer in pain and I have all my teeth back and I have a nice smile again. I'm just really looking forward to the future with my new smile.